it's me Lisa and today I'm coming at you with a bit of a different video than usual. Today I'm going to tell you every popular book I'm excited to read. So without any further ado, let's get down to it. Okay, so this is the massive pile of books that I've gathered and are part of my TBR, but not all of it. My TBR is massive. And these are all popular book that either, oop, bookstagram, or recommendations, or book talk, or booktube got me into buying, and I have them all on my TBR, and I'm super excited to read them. I'm also gonna add to this list of physical books a whole list of digital books, so ebooks that I bought that I'm also excited to read that are super popular books. So let's start with this list. The first one, The Thousand Splendid Sun from Khaled Oseini. And this one I've heard wonders about and I've heard my uh, parents rave about it and then I got scared about the content of the book and so I wasn't motivated to get into it but I'm actually very excited to read this one. The second one is from Margaret Arthur, The Penelope and I read from her the book The Handmaid's Tale and so I want to see something different and I want to see how this is. My mom also recommended this to me which is Notre Dame de Paris of Victor Hugo and I got that one in French quite a while ago and never got around to reading that so I'm pretty excited to get down to it. I have these two that are from Bookstagram, I follow the author and that is Jordan Ifwego and they are a duology and they are called Raya Brer and Redemptor and they, the name doesn't make much sense but the covers are what got me they are incredible and I don't know what they are about at all but I'm super excited to read that then this one is a bit of a controversial read that I read about on Bookstagram, The Lost Apothecary, and I've seen a lot of people rave about this book, a lot of people hating on the book, saying that it's too overhyped, so obviously I bought it, and I want to see how good this is. Then we have Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I've heard wonders about this book and the reason why I got it is I got the whole collection of this series on Amazon super super discounted and I bought it in England now I'm in Italy so I brought this one along with me and I'm very very keen to get into it because I listened to How to Sky and Breath and it was so good that I'm so keen to get more into this. I'm waiting for the end of my school year to buy another audiobook that is Crescent City from hers and I can't wait to get into it. I'm so excited about it. So these are two books in one because there's this one and then there's the audiobook of Crescent City that is another one that I'm super super excited about. Then in terms of books that I'm excited for we have Jennifer Saint Ariadne and this one has a super nice cover and I love historical retellings of myths so I can't wait to get into this and I've seen that there is also another one that is similar to this which is Pandora's Box or Pandora and it's from another author but if this is good I'm gonna buy the other one even if they are not from the same author because I'm just excited about these things and I'm excited about Greek mythology in general. Then I bought Legendborn. This is another one that comes from Instagram and more specifically Bookstagram. I follow the author Tracy Dion and I've seen that this has been in best favorite lists for a long long time so very probably this is going to be a really good read and I can't wait to get into it. Then we have another one that is so so beautiful. This cover is everything and this is the hat maker i actually read the plot of this but thankfully i forgot it so i don't really know what this is about but it's kind of magic 
romantically involved I'm not really sure and I don't really care because the cover really got me and it also has pages that finish in this really good blue tint so this one I'm super excited to read just because it's so pretty then in the past I listened to some of the booktubers recommendation and the Raven Boys was in I think Hayley and Bookland's recommendations and so I got it and it's from a long time ago but I'm very 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 excited to read this one so very very good then this is one that has been raved about so much on bookstagram booktube wherever the seven husbands of Evelyn and hugo i think quite long ago like a year ago and i think that this one would be one that i'm really really gonna like so very excited for this one and then I got another one which is On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Wong and I think this one was recommended by Jack Edwards and I think that he was quite thrilled about it so I can't wait to get into this one and then another one that has been very controversial was The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern and this I don't know, I've seen a lot of people say it's great, a lot of people say it's confusing, so I'm very thrilled to read it and I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy it, but I cannot say if that is true or not, so can't wait to get into that one. And then I got quite some on Kindle that I'm quite excited to get into. One of them is Pure and Easy and this is from Susanna Clark and this one I've heard so so much about especially on bookstagram and book talk and I think that this one is gonna be a good one I think that people really really enjoyed it and it also won some prize so I think it's really gonna be great then I accidentally bought Serpent and Dove but I think that this one I'm really really gonna enjoy it's this one Serpent and Dove and I have no idea if I'm gonna like it or not the uh, plot is a good premise but I have no idea but I've seen a lot on bookstagram people say it's great so I cannot wait to get into it very very honestly then we have two that kind of go together I got them from my publishing module but I've not got around to read them because I have so much to do one of them is box and this one is from Christina Dalcher and it must be similar to kind of The Handmaid's Tale and Hunger Games and stuff like that but I don't really know if it's gonna be good or not but I'm quite excited to read it and then we have The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh and that one as well I've heard a lot about and that one was recommended as a good book and I don't know I'm quite excited because I'm pretty into dystopian fiction and I know that this one is a dystopia so I think I'm gonna like this one quite a lot. Then to go on we have The Silent Patient by Alex Mikendlite. This one was recommended in one reading club and I think that people have said that it's so so good and everything and so I'm pretty thrilled to read it but still schoolwork kind of prevented me to get into this book so this one is one that I'm very very excited about and last but not least this is quite an old one but it's Tequila Mockingbird by Harpo Lee I have a pretty dreadful edition I must say because the writing is super small but I've heard people rave about this one and I think that I'm gonna be pretty happy about that but I think that this is the totality of my super excited about reading list and it's so huge like you have no idea how big this is you will have seen it in the thumbnail but it's a huge huge pile and I cannot wait to get into it I also have another book that I'm very excited to read but I'm kind of halfway through it and I must say I'm not super much enjoying it and since I have already started it I don't think that it qualifies as things that I'm excited to read because I'm already reading it if this makes sense and this is Open Water this is from Caleb Azuma Nelson and it's in second person and I'm not thrilled about it unfortunately but I'm not far into it so I might be wrong but this one doesn't qualify so don't count this one into my TBR list 
I really hope that you enjoyed all of my excited to read and I'm gonna obviously update you on all of the reads once I do read them I will post a review on this channel so don't worry but I really hope that you enjoyed this video that you will leave me a like and subscribe to the channel because we are past a hundred subs so I'm very excited about it and I really hope that you will stick around because there's a lot more coming as you have seen there's a whole pile of stuff that you will be very excited to listen about to hear about so don't leave me stick around and we will see each other in the next video I love you all bye guys